Okay, so here I have a uh, rubber hose that has a uh, 3 8 inch inside diameter. Okay, I have a hose clamp. The hose clamp is uh, rated for uh, 5 16 up to uh, 7 8 um, and I bought a uh, tire stem came in a set of two and all I did was I took a uh, box cutter and I, I cut off this is just rubber and in, inside the main part here is a tube and then you have your Schrader valve you know it looks like this you know just a standard tire valve it, I picked up a pack of two for like three bucks at a at an auto parts store they had a whole bunch of different kinds the one I bought was the two inch kind <laughs> I want to leave it about a I don't know about a quarter of an inch I mean it's in here it goes down to about here so now I'm going to slip this slip this hose clamp on to about here and this is a uh, quarter inch uh, bolt right here sort of so I'm using my nut driver and I'm just going to tighten it up That ought to be tight enough. Okay, show you guys how this is going to work. Here I have my bicycle pump. I'm just going to that connection I just just made. Um, I'm going to pressure test it and see if it holds. Okay, so got my line here that I just made, and to check this, I'm just going to unscrew this. I'm going to uh, push this on and push and close. Okay. Now to check the pressure test, this I'm just going to uh, pinch this line off a few times and let's hold this tight. Okay. Now, let me make sure you guys can see this a little better. Okay. I got this squeezed off, and now I'm just going to put my foot here on the pump, and I'm going to pressure test it. Okay, that's... Uh, that's right at 70 pounds it's holding so that's way over what I'll need to uh, you know only need about 15 pounds or so to check it and it's holding good so that shouldn't be a problem so I think she's ready to go